Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful quick stitch. This is quite a fast stitch as well and look at that beautiful ombre yarn. Now I've been using this yarn. This is Super Saver Ombre and I'm telling you one thing, this is the best ombre yarn for colour change that I have ever worked with. Look at such a subtle, subtle change in the shades of colour. Normally a lot of the colour changes are very dramatic in an ombre yarn, but this one is just so subtle. It goes into that right pale, pale, almost white yarn there, and then it slowly goes back to that dark blue and then goes back to the light that's what that's a lighter one that one on that picture this is a sort of darker one now this one is called badger blue it's badger blue it's the super saver from red heart you can get these in the UK as well if you look online. Just Google it. Google Super Saver Ombre Red Heart Yarn. Use a much bigger hook. It will really open it up and make it really light as well for the spring. It's a super easy one row repeat. We all love quick easy stitches and I'm going to show you how to do this. So for this pattern, the stitch count is two. So do your chain quite loose. And we're going to do them in sets of two. So I've said it's sets of two stitches. Now it makes an even number. We're going to chain one more stitch. But you need sets of two to do the pattern. That's why I said the chain count is sets of two, then add one extra. So we're going to go into the second stitch in the chain. So count one, two. We're going to do one row of UK double crochets, one into each stitch. So push your yarn, your hook through, pull the yarn through, yarn over, and pull through, one into each stitch all the way along your chain. So now you're going to chain one and turn. Now right into the very first space right here, this very first space right here, we're going to do what's called an extended double crochet. It's a little bit bigger than a normal double crochet. So put your hook in and pull your yarn through and you've got two loops. Yarn over, now come through one loop and over and through those two loops. That's an extended stitch. It's a little bit bigger than a normal stitch but not as big as a treble crochet. You're going to skip that stitch and do the extended double crochet into this stitch. So put your hook through, pull your yarn through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops. Now you're going to go back to that stitch that you missed. And this is the two stitches you'll keep repeating. So you'll go into that stitch there that you missed. It's right beside the one you've just used there. Pull your yarn through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops. And you'll do that all the way along. So we've used that stitch, skip that stitch and do your extended double crochet in this stitch. Yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops. Go back to the stitch you missed. Don't go in here, you're going down here in this row that you're working on. That's your stitch there. Push your hook through, pull the yarn through, yarn over through one loop, 
yarn over through the second loop and it makes like a little crisscross in your work. It's a beautiful stitch, really easy. One that you can do while you're watching the TV as well and it's quick and that's what everybody wants these days, quick crochet stitches. Skip one and do your stitch into this one. Yarn over through one loop yarn over through two loops and go back to that skipped stitch through there yarn over through one loop yarn over through two skip the next stitch and work this one go back to your skip stitch all the way along skip one and work one Go back to your skipped stitch through one loop, yarn over through the two loops. So I've got three stitches left. So I'm going to skip a stitch and do my extended stitch in this one. I'm going to go back to my skip stitch and do my extended stitch. And then into the end, I'm just going to do a dub, an extended double crochet. So just go into that last stitch, just push your hook through, pull through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through both loops. Chain one and turn. And we're going to do that row again, but in the very first stitch, and the very last stitch, you'll always just do the extended stitch. So right in to that very first stitch here. Pull your yarn through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over and through the two loops. You're going to see the stitches here, skip this stitch and go into this little stitch here. So you've got a big stitch and a little stitch, a big stitch and a little stitch. So you're going to go skip that stitch and work into this one. So pull through, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two. And go back to your skip stitch, not the part in here. You're going in, working along this row again. So into that stitch there that you missed, right beside that one. Pull through, yarn over through one loop yarn over through two loops so you'll skip this space and go in to the next space so skip that stitch and go in there so what you're doing is you're working there's a little piece going across you're working into this side of it and this side so you're going to skip that side work that side and then go back into that one so it makes a little cross you can see the little crosses there. It's really pretty once you've got a lot done. So skip that stitch and go into the next stitch. Through one loop, then through two. Go back to this stitch here that you skipped. So go into the next, go back to that one, pull through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops. So you'll skip that stitch and go into the next one and that's what you're going to do every row. Then go back, not that space there, make sure you're still working in this row that's here. So you're going down into there, right beside that little line, right through there. That's your skip stitch. Skip the next stitch and into that one. Then go back into your skipped stitch there, it's down there and you'll do that all the way along. Okay. When you're at the end you're just going to do an extended double crochet into that stitch so just go through that little bundle, there is a stitch in there, pull through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two chain one and turn and start your row again 
and this is what it looks like it's really pretty it's pretty in any color then you'll start a single extended stitch in there just one on its own through one loop yarn over through two then you'll skip your stitch and work your pattern this is so pretty and it's easy and it's quick so please if you haven't if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's completely free to subscribe to any YouTube channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. And thank you to everyone on my copy page who have been buying me a cup of coffee. So thank you so much for that as well. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.